What's going on, cheaters of YouTube? I'm back with another video. This is uh, Poker Night 2 using Cheat Engine um, to give yourself unlimited monies to bet with. All right. So there's a couple of ways that you can approach this. You can either give yourself a boatload of cash by modifying the value that we find, or you can just lock the value in at whatever it's at, and then you essentially never lose money when you bet. All right, or some combination thereof. Um, I'm just going to jump straight into stuff here. Um, this was a highly requested thing, so I'm glad I can bring this to all of you. Uh, basically, what you need to do, uh, there's a formula to this. Every dollar value um, is worth, of is okay, so every dollar amount, every one dollar is worth a value of 512. Okay, so to f uh, phrase that another way, if you want to give yourself a dollar, you need to add 512 to whatever your value is that we find. If you want to give yourself a thousand dollars, you need to multiply a thousand times five twelve, and then whatever number you get, you add that to the value that we're going to find. Okay, that's how you give yourself money. One dollar is worth a value of five twelve. You'll see what I mean whenever we find it. First thing you need to do: fire the game up, attach cheat engine. Once you do that, you want to get. You can either continue your tournament or start a new tournament. It doesn't matter. What you want to do is get to the point where it's your turn to raise or bet or whatever, okay? So once you get here, first thing you want to do, go to Cheat Engine, search for unknown initial value, first scan. All right, next thing you want to do, whatever you bet here, you want to multiply that by 512. And then you take that number and you plug it in here and we'll search for decreased value by. All right, so... Let's uh, bet a thousand. All right. So you see what the total would be: fourteen hundred. That's how much money would come out of here. So what we need to do is do fourteen hundred times five twelve. All right. See this number here. Once we hit raise and that money comes out, we need to search for this right here. All right, so let's hit raise. Okay, then. Boom, we hit raise. All right. Now, 716, 800. Decreased by, next scan. Boom. This is our value. This is it. This is your money. All right. You may have another one pop up, and in which case, you'll just have to do this process one more time make the bet um, and then after you make or before you hit the bet or raise or whatever multiply that number by 512 then you hit the button to raise or bet then you search for that decreased value here and then you do one more next scan now I'll show you something else as well um, this value is actually the value in memory this is what changed whenever we just made our bet. But there will be one more value of this that isn't here now. And that's because what you see on the screen here is also reflected using this number. Because we hit the button, this value instantly changed in memory. But because we went straight over to Cheat Engine, the screen didn't have a chance to update that value. Okay, so I'm going to click on the screen. Once this drops down, I'm going to search for this value. All right. We'll search for that. So. I'm in. All right. So let's just do a new scan. Paste. Looking for that value. Okay. There's a bunch of them here. All right. The reason for that um, ah, I'm in. is see right here? Brock. 18,200, Ash, 18,200. A couple of these are them. You can even find your opponent's money and change that as well. Okay? So, because we put ours here, we know that this one's ours. So that's why it's best that when it's your turn, okay, 
you see how much money you, that you're going to wager. Before you wager it, you multiply that number by 512, all right? Whatever that gives you, you take that value, paste it here, whatever, however you want to do it, right? Then you go make your bet, and as soon as you make that bet, as soon as you hit that button, before you even give your score up here a chance to decrease, that's when you search for it. And then you'll get the one value that will be your money. All right. So from here, you can either give yourself money by double clicking on this. All right. And whatever the value is here, let's say you want to give yourself $20,000. All right. You need to multiply 20,000 times 512. That's the formula. A dollar equals 512. Right. So we want $20,000, so 20,000 times 512 gives us this number. You want to add that number to this, all right? So we'll do plus paste equals this. Copy that, paste it back here, all right? Hit OK. Now, when the game has another reason to check how much uh, we have in memory here for our value, it'll change this to reflect that plus whatever else uh, it factors in. So this should go up by at least 20,000. All right, it looks like it pretty much doubled. So that's another thing you need to be aware of. Depending on where you're at when you do this, there's some other calculations going on that it may factor in, all right? Last thing that I wanna show you, if you uh, check that box, put an X in that box right there, that locks in this value. So whenever you make a bet, it'll look like this goes down at first, but then it'll come right back to this value, all right? So let's go all in. Oh yeah, I definitely made the right decision. All right, it didn't even look like it went down. Before, it would decrease a little bit and then go right back to where it was. It didn't even do that. See how we have $2 right now? Somehow we got two more dollars. You get some funky stuff going on like that. Um, but also be aware that if you have that value locked when you win, you will not get the winnings because you've locked your money here at whatever this is, okay? Uh-uh. Hmm. Wendy and I could repair the Oldsmobile with that money. So let's see what happens here. Nuh-uh. The player takes the pot. All right, see how my money just stayed there? I didn't win any of that, so that doesn't matter because you can just go give yourself money, all right? So last thing to be aware of whenever you start bringing in a bunch more money into the game, if you start playing it seriously and your opponents start beating you, um, they're not, their ceiling isn't 20,000. They can go as high as you can, which is whatever you give yourself, okay? So basically you can make your games extremely long in length if you keep giving yourself money or whatever, all right? The same thing can kind of happen if you um, lock in this value here because your money that you bet will still go into the pot and they can still win that, right? So this is basically just a way for you to give yourself unlimited money. Um, and then as you can see up here, some of these values are for your opponents. Now, I'll show you later how to find your opponent's values. I'm actually just going to put together a cheat table for you to import, and all this stuff will just be there. You won't have to search for all this. But long story short, you can just edit your uh, opponent's values to whatever you want, $1. Give yourself uh, $999,999, then win and get the We Are the 1% achievement if you haven't you know, received that yet. So, anyway... I hope this helps you, um, gives you the money that you're looking for. Unfortunately, it's not in real life. That'd be the bomb, but whatever. So hope you enjoyed. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you uh, want me to look for something else in particular, and I'll try to find it and uh, bring you guys another video. So thanks again for watching. Take care.